Hi there. It's been ages since I've done a video here or anywhere else for that matter. First, because I took a break from social media towards the end of last year and into the, this one. And then Corona hit, just, to, just when I was about to restart, Corona hit and I felt not compelled to put my view out there. Because from the very beginning of this pandemic, I had a very definite feeling, a very definite idea about what this pandemic is giving us. And it is a pandemic, let's be clear about that. People, lots of people have gotten sick. We don't, we seem not to quite know how to treat this virus. People have died from it. I'm not taking anything away from that. At the same time though, to me it has always felt as though nature, as though the universe was saying to us, I'm pressing the pause button for you guys, for humanity, because you don't seem to be able to do it yourselves. But I do believe nature and the universe pressing the pause button for us has given us an opportunity to look at how we live life, how we treat each other, how we treat nature, how we treat this planet. And I also believe that we can change that. Now, I know there will be people that say, sure, Gerdi, of course, Gerdi, you're right. That's all very true. But I don't see what I, as a single person, can do. If everybody thinks like that, nothing will change, will it? When we look around, and we look at the news, which I have not been following too much. I'm skimming headlines because I don't want to dip into it too much. You hear that? Somewhere. There's a avalanche coming down. Anyways, where was I? It's at moments like these that I wish I was doing a live video so people could tell me where I was. Um, that's right. As a single person, it can be hard to imagine how we can send humanity, set humanity on a different course. I don't think it's coming from our leaders. But if it's not coming from our leaders, then it has to come from us. So this is almost like it's going to be changed from the bottom up. And if it's going to be changed from the bottom up, don't we have to start with ourselves? Isn't this this time where we're so much we have so much more time than we've had for years, maybe even decades. Isn't this an ideal time to reflect upon how we as individuals have been living life? Asking ourselves, have we been doing the things that are truly important to us? Have I been doing the things that are truly important to me? Am I living life in according with in accordance with who it is that I truly am. I read somewhere, I can't remember now who said it, but in accordance with the essence of who I am. And I think that covers it nicely. Are you living in accordance with the essence of who you are? Or, or are you not? And how do you know whether or not you're living in accordance with your essence, with who you truly are? There's a couple of things that are really easy to see or to, to that are telltale signs of living out of alignment with that. that. 
essence of yours. If, if you feel in normal life, the life before COVID, say, if you feel a lot of resentment and anger and depression and, and not the medical kind of depression, just you feel down all the time, you feel resentful, you feel a, whole, a host of negative emotions most of the time. When you think about life as you were living before COVID, is that the normal that you want to return to? Or would you like to change that normal so that you feel much more, many more positive emotions, much more positive most of the time? Even better, when you feel positive most of the time, even not much more positive, but just positive most of the time. But how do you get back in touch with your essence? Start with reconnecting with your core values. Because the core values are at your center. They make you who you are. They are your essence. Now, how can you do that? You could Google and say, um, Google for values and you will find huge PDFs with endless lists of words that are labels for values and then go through that list and scratch all the ones that don't speak to you or that don't feel right to you and until you end up with three to five i always hated those i don't use those with my clients i don't use that system to get to to help them get to their core values instead i ask them to Think about what their dream job, or even better, dream jobs are. Sometimes you look at something, you look at a movie, or you read a book, or you look at a documentary, and you think, oh my God, if I could do that. Create a list of 10 jobs that you, at least 10 jobs, if you've got more, it's even better, but at least 10 jobs that you consider to be dream jobs. And if you can't think of 10 dream jobs, now go back to your childhood and think about 10 jobs that you, 10 things that you wanted to do when you were a kid. You know, and if you had just been read Cinderella and you thought, oh my God, I want to be the fairy godmother to Cinderella, be my guest, you know, go for it. Once you have a list of 10 dream jobs, whether they are feasible or non-feasible doesn't really matter as long as you consider them dream jobs. Go through that list and for each of those jobs, think about what is it about that job that um, makes it so appealing to you. Think about at least three but preferably more characteristics of that job that make that job so appealing to you why is it that you think that's a dream job once you've done that go towards step go through all those characteristics and start looking for the common threads you may um, group some of the characteristics together and find a label for that group of characteristics but see if you can come Bring it down, bring it back to three, three to five main characteristics. Those are your core values. Those are your core values. Then go to the next step and start asking yourself a couple of questions. When I'm living in accordance with those core values, If somebody were to offer me a huge amount of money, say a million euros or a million dollars, would I be willing to, leave, to just drop that core value to the wayside and start doing what somebody asked me to do, even though it is not in alignment with that core value? Think back to ask yourself, how did I feel 
those times when I ignored that core value against my better judgment and did something that was out of alignment with that value. Ask yourself, in 10, 20, 30 years, will I still consider these values my most important values? If you answer to that for if your answer to that first question is oh yeah I would take that million dollars no question that value is not your core value so be as honest as you can once you've got your core values those 3 to 5 core values start using them when you have to make decisions when things are being asked of you ask yourself every time Am I acting, speaking in line with my core value or am I not? When you're not, don't do it, don't say it. Or if you feel compelled to do it anyways, at least do so consciously, knowing that you're doing something that's out of alignment. Starting with ourselves when we want to change the world and we, or when we want to see humanity moving forward in a different way is as good a place to start as any. And this has been a really long video. But it's true. I truly believe that. When enough people reconnect with their core values and start living in alignment with those core values start acting in alignment with the essence of who they are instead of trying to live up to somebody else's values trying to live up to somebody else's expectations and feeling resentful and angry and hurt a whole host of other things all the time. The world will be a much nicer place. We will be much more considerate of other people, much more considerate of ourselves as well, and much more considerate towards the animal kingdom, towards nature, and towards this planet. It's about time, isn't it? It's about time that we as humans Start acting like that. God. It's about time we started acting humanely. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye. Couldn't resist showing you where I am. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.